Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you some DIYs to make when you are bored. These are to do when you are at school or at home too. And they are all really, really easy, so I hope you like them. And if this is your first time here, hi, I am Sue, welcome to this channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. Go click it. Okay, you wanna click it at the end of the video? Okay, that's okay. So yeah, click it if you want to see more videos like this. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with the video. Two. So the first idea, I've been doing it for a long time now and it's my easiest bracelet option. You will need some embroidery thread or any other thread you want and some plastic cord. This is just to make the bracelet thicker. You can also attach some charms and beads like this. Start off cutting some cord pieces in different colors and then make a knot and tape it to your table so it doesn't move. Take one of the cords and simply wrap it around the others. And that's it, that's everything that you need to know. <laughs> so just make sure you line each line properly and you can change colors anytime you want. You can wrap one of the threads on top of another color like so to create a new pattern. Or you can wrap two threads at the same time to create stripes. You can also discover new designs by yourself, just use your imagination and also like this you can add some bits or a charm like this peace sign. And once you finish you can tie another knot. This is definitely the easiest bracelet that I have shown you in my channel, but I think it looks super cute. Um, also, you can decide if you want to add a closure. I simply tie it to my wrist because I didn't have one, but yeah, I think it's super pretty. Um, a perfect summer project and also a great gift for a friend. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I want to bake cookies, but I know that if I actually make them, I'm going to eat the whole batch by myself. So I discovered a way to make just one cookie. You will need a tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of white sugar, a tablespoon of soft butter. Mix it well. A tablespoon of milk a pinch of salt and a pinch of baking soda, three tablespoons of flour, and finally two tablespoons of chocolate chips. Making one single cookie in the oven would be such a big waste of energy, so you can actually make it in a pan. Simply heat it at low heat, and place a little bit of butter so the cookie doesn't stick and add the dough and it's very important that you cover it so it cooks all over and I will admit that it was a little difficult to flip it but I think it came out pretty good and you can use any toppings you want for decoration the flavor was amazing, just like a homemade cookie and I think this is the perfect project for when you are bored because when I'm bored, I'm always hungry. So you really seem to enjoy the infinite card that I showed you some videos ago so I found a super cute mini version. You will need a cardstock piece of this, of this size and simply cut a cross in the middle section. Then fold it like so Fold again, again, and the card is ready. Now you can glue any pics you want, and you will need also to cut them following the cuts underneath. 
Uh, you can flip the card to follow the lines a little better. And yeah, repeat for the rest of the sides. I hope you can understand that from this video. It's kind of hard to explain it with words. But yeah, this card is super super cute. It's a perfect mini gift for a friend. Um, you can stick pictures with them. And playing with it, it's super fun. So when I went to school, this used to happen a lot. Okay class, so let's learn a new concept today, okay? Yay, something new! So that's it, did you get it? Yep, I got this. Okay, so today we're gonna see again the new concept to make sure everybody got it right. Okay, let's see if I really understood that. Okay, did everybody understood the new concept? Yes? No? No? Okay, let's see that again. Not again. Okay, so today, since it's Friday, let's go over the new concept one last time. <laughs> so yeah, if you're in class and you're super bored because you already know what the teacher is explaining, a great thing to do is some quote art because it really looks like you are taking notes. And I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you can't really see much from this angle, but basically use different fonts and sizes to write quotes in beautiful ways. And you can use any pens or markers you want. I chose these ones because this is the kind of pens that I would have in class. Also, I like making my designs with pencil first and then go over my designs with pen. And the best part is that you can use them to decorate your locker and binders and folders. Also, it's a great way to practice your lettering for posters and boards and things like that. Practice makes perfect, so just have fun with it and use your imagination. And the time in class will fly, but don't be too distracted, just in case. So that was it, I hope you liked the video and don't forget to send me a picture if you try any of these DIYs through my Twitter or Instagram. And also let me know in the comment section which kind of videos you would want to see next. And also let me know what DIYs are your favorite right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!